Hey guys, auction haul. I spent uh, $262 today. Uh, the better stuff's on the table. Um, I'm going to do, I'll do well with this, this lot. I'll start off with what I got for free. I got the Apple box. I don't know what it's worth. I haven't looked it up, but it is an Apple box for an Apple watch. It's probably worth something. Got the Playbills. Got those for free. Not worth a lot, but I've got a handful of them laying around here. I'll lot them up, $20, $30. Um, I got this. It's a pocket microscope. It's made in Germany. I've had one of these before, but it was much older. I got $40 for that. And this one's probably only worth about $20. But I got it for free. I paid $2 for the uh, $2 for the coin on a foreign tray lot. Um, silver. It's only worth like $3.50 in silver. I'll just throw it in a box and when silver goes back up, cash it in then. Um, the Apple Watch. Choice off a tray lot. Paid $2.00. I sold one of these a couple months ago with a charger. I got $200 for it. That one was in perfect condition. This one's got a couple blemishes on the screen. Uh, it's still probably good for $80. Seiko watch paid a dollar for that. Probably shouldn't have bought it. it. Needs a battery. With the battery running, it's only worth about $15 or $20. Got two, uh, got two knives for $1. This is the only one I was interested in. It's Cutco. It's got a broken tip on it, though. But they got an excellent warranty. Should probably get 20 bucks for that. Maybe a little better. I don't know what I did with the other knife. I left it somewhere. The pouch. British military. World War II. Paid $1 for that item. Mm, $25.30. The sci-fi magazines. These are always good to find. Good to pick up. Look at at least. Check them out. Research. Uh, these aren't worth a lot. I got four or five of them. Maybe twenty dollars, so it's only like five dollars a piece. The Scream Queens, um, these will do a little better. I think that one's worth fifteen or twenty. Uh, those down there are only worth about five a piece. I'll lot those up. And uh, this one's a rare one though, uh, illustrated poster book uh, number four. In better condition, it'd be worth a hundred dollars. In the condition it's in, forty, fifty, somewhere in there. These often go overlooked. 1974 New York subway guide in better condition uh, $100 in the condition it's in 40 50 and uh, the Philadelphia one I think that one's only worth about 20 or so the fire apparatus journal I got a bunch of these dating from 1985 to 2003 I think I got like 15 of them or so I'll lot them up mm, 40 50 dollars maybe a Union Pacific photograph, pretty good size. I don't know what I'll get for that. I got uh, I got a bunch of these, dating from 1962, I think, all the way to 1984 or something, about 15 or 20. They're um, they remind me of yearbooks, and I'll treat them that way. Um, Long-tailed item, but I think they're good for about 15 dollars each, and I've got that many of them. I got a couple hundred of these photographs of fire trucks um, evidently you could order them through this magazine you could order the slides I do have a handful of slides in there uh, buried worth about six dollars a piece I don't know what the photographs are but they are uh, they are regional so I'll lot them up that way into uh, you know whatever ten fire trucks in a lot for twenty bucks or something so we'll see how that goes and the cards over there the cards over there uh, disappointing if they were uh, certain years they'd be good but there's those aren't a lot those all up 20 bucks maybe um, the Fox and the Lion well I've had that artist before and I did very well with it um, it was a vase I got 225 250 it's been four or five years ago uh, the artist's name is uh, Jonathan Adler, A-D-L-E-R. Um, these aren't going to do as well, but these are still going to do good. Um, I got the two of them for $19. Uh, the fox is worth about 100 bucks, and the lion's worth about 100 and a quarter, give or take. The, um, the watercolors, well, they're really well done. Um, I paid anywhere from 50 uh, five to twenty dollars on the watercolors 
Um, there's the artist's name, Margaret Watts. See the little, that's a, always a good sign to look for. See the copyright sign there? That one's got a $400 price tag on it. I paid um, $10 for that one. I paid 50, uh, no, I paid 20 for that one, 15 for that one, even though they got torn just because it's so big. And I have $5 for that one. I think 10 or 15 for that one in the back there. Um, we'll see, you know, we'll see. Uh, if I could get $200 out of my $10 investment on that one, I'd be happy. Uh, you know, I get $100 on my $20 investment on that one, I'd be happy. You know, we'll see. Uh, dabbling in art. Uh, the National Gazette, Literary Registry, 1822. Uh, right, the paper's right, the print's right, everything's right about it. Sadly, it ain't worth much. Ten bucks, give or take. Um, that's okay. I like it. It's interesting to me. Um, really cool. I really like that item. I might just, just keep that for myself. And my big purchase of the day. I spent $130 on this item. U.S. Navy boat clock. Um, I found one identical to this one. Um, completed listings. He was asking $600 or best offer. I checked on Flipper Tools. He got $375. His is running. Mine's mine. I haven't tested mine yet. I can't find the right key. But his somebody it looked it looked like they had taken a car key and scratched out U.S. Navy and then scratched out the serial number and everything. And he still got three hundred and seventy-five dollars for his. Mine's my the face is intact. I'm thinking even if it doesn't run, I'm going to do better than his because you can always fix the guts. You're, you're not fixing the face. Um, if it does run, I'm looking at $500 or better, I think. And if it doesn't run, I still think I'm looking at uh, $400. We'll see. We'll see. But that was my big purchase of the day, $130. Anyways, I hope you got something out of this video. I, I thank you for watching.